Welcome to Umi Halim's workspace. Have you ever bitten into a smooth, creamy piece of chocolate and thought about the journey it took to get there? It's a fascinating process that transforms a bitter bean into the beloved treat we all know and love. Chocolate begins its journey in the steamy rainforests near the equator. Here, cacao trees flourish, producing large, football-shaped pods twice a year. Inside these colorful pods, nestled amidst a sweet, pulp-like substance, are the precious cacao beans, the heart of all chocolate. The first step in the chocolate-making process is harvesting. Farmers chop the ripe pods from the trees, taking care not to damage the precious beans inside. The harvested pods are then sliced open and the beans, along with the surrounding pulp, are scooped out. These beans are then left to ferment a crucial step that helps develop the complex flavors we associate with chocolate. The beans are typically placed in shallow containers and left to ferment naturally in the tropical heat for about five to seven days. Next comes drying. The fermented beans are spread out in the sun to dry naturally, a process that can take up to a week. The dried beans are then packed and shipped to chocolate makers around the world. At the chocolate factory, the beans are roasted at high temperatures which brings out the chocolatey flavor. The roasting process also makes it easier to remove the shells from the beans, revealing the nibs inside. These nibs are the essence of what will become chocolate. The nibs are then ground into a thick liquid paste known as chocolate liquor. Despite its name, chocolate liquor contains no alcohol. It's purely cacao. The chocolate liquor is then processed further. For dark chocolate, some of the chocolate liquor is separated into cocoa solids and cocoa butter. For milk chocolate, milk and sugar are added to the chocolate liquor. The final step in the process is tempering, which involves heating and cooling the chocolate to give it a glossy finish and a satisfying snap when you bite into it. The tempered chocolate is then poured into molds, cooled, and voila, you have a finished chocolate bar. To summarize, Chocolate making is a complex process that starts with harvesting cacao pods and ends with a delicious glossy bar. The process involves several steps, harvesting, fermenting, drying, roasting, grinding, separating for dark chocolate, adding ingredients for milk chocolate and tempering. Each step contributes to the final flavor, texture and appearance of the chocolate. So the next time you bite into a piece of chocolate, Take a moment to appreciate the journey it's made. From a tropical rainforest to your hands, every piece of chocolate is a testament to the art and science of chocolate making. And remember, every bite of chocolate is a sensory experience, a journey for your taste buds. So, savor it, enjoy it, and let the chocolate melt in your mouth. After all, good things like chocolate are worth taking the time to appreciate.